I'm joined in studio today by two very special guests, part of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Man and Woman of the Year competition. It's a huge fundraiser held every year, and I want to introduce you to Adam Burke and Inez Moriarty, two contestants uh, doing a lot of work to raise a lot of money for a great, great cause. Thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having us. First of all, Adam, tell us a little bit about what the Man and Woman of the Year contest is. Well, the Man and Women uh, Contest of the Year, it's an amazing thing the Leukemia Lymphoma Society does. Um, it's a 10-week ask professional fundraising um, to find a cure for blood cancer. Um, we have this year in 2017, we have six men candidates and we have 11 women and we have the all-star sitting next to me. I feel uh, <laughs> honored to sit next to her. And, um, we go out and ask as many personal ask, as many corporate sponsors, anyone and everyone, no matter if it's a dollar all the way up until, you know, you can imagine to get, um, to make a difference, you know, to, to not experience what, you know, the people go through and, and you know, the, what, I, what happened to, you know, to my father. Yes, and we're gonna get to that right now. You guys are not just random people selected out of thin air to do this. You guys have a personal story, a personal tie to blood cancers, uh, leukemia, lymphoma, myeloma. Inez, tell us a little bit about your tie. Um, my experience was with my daughter in 2000 and one, she was diagnosed with um, acute lymphocytic leukemia and um, she was in the 90 percentile to survive and she did. She's now 25 and going off to medical school in the fall. So we thank God every day. But um, as I started this journey and started fundraising in 2014 as just a team member for one of the men, um, teams, I realized, you know, I was thanking the doctors and nurses because they did amazing work. But I realized there was a whole other team behind them that were providing the research that was able to get her into that 90% survival rate because, you know, back 20 years it wasn't that. Back 10 years it wasn't that. And there's still 10% of children who die from the same exact diagnosis, same exact treatment. So there's still a lot of work to be done. So that's kind of my story and why I continue. This is year number four. Yeah, you're a true <laughs> warrior. You've been doing this for years. Yeah, it's it's uh, year number four. And I, I will continue because now that I realize, um, you know, I've learned so much about LLS over the years and there are 15 million, over 15 million volunteers in all walks of profession that give their time and energy and um, strategy and contacts and networks to uh, keep raising funds to find a cure and, and kick cancer's keister, so to speak. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And Adam, you have not been doing this for years. This is your first campaign, but you have a very personal story. Your father died from a blood cancer. I, I do. Um, it, it's near and dear to my heart. Um, January, um, 24, 2015, we lost um, you know, our father to AML. Um, it was just a, you know, horrific, um, you know, he leaves behind, um, you know, of course my mom, you know, a spouse that are married for over 45 years, and you know, of course, you know, my wife and, and three, you know, grandkids, and you know, two boys, and you know, one of my brothers is married, and a baby on the way, and it's just, um, from diagnosis to death, when when my dad was diagnosed, um, and he, we took him into you know MD Anderson. We said we're going to beat this. You know we're going to beat the statistics. And um, you know in six weeks, you know he he had a brain bleed and and he didn't make it out. And I don't want anybody ever to have to experience what my family went through and an ongoing thing. We're here to make a difference. Um, so um, that's why it's near and dear to my heart to, to make sure that um, the LLS in the backing and to, to raise as much money as possible. Very good. Um, you have bo both got a very personal stake in this. You've got 10 weeks to raise as much money as you can. So you guys are doing events and uh, getting very creative in, in, in getting people involved to help raise the funds. Inez, tell us a little bit about an event you have coming up. Um, Saturday, May 20th at the Heights Theater on 19th Street um, in Houston. Uh, there will be um, an event that I started in 2014 called Rock and Roll for a Cure. And at the time when I started it, it was just with friends and family type band who they were awesome. <laughs> <laughs> but we've grown it a bit and now we have a professional band um, whose agent comes out of Nashville. I feel like we're so accomplished <laughs> now. And they're wonderful. They're called, uh, the band is Shiny Ribs and they just are 
just a very soulful, hip-shaking, motivating um, group of talented musicians that will be playing for our cause on Saturday, May 20th at the Heights Theater and tickets are available on prekindle.com and 100% of the ticket sales go to um, LLS and this band typically sells out so that's what I'm hoping for is that we get a, a full house and, and um, raise as much as we can. So Inez, you're dealing with and kind of playing to the music lovers here in town. Yes. Adam, your event coming up this Saturday is playing to more of the food lovers. Tell us a little bit We about are. That. Um, real excited. We have an event um, at Fuddruckers. It's Burgers for Benefits. It's this Saturday, um, May 13th, um, from 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Um, Fuddruckers is generously donating um, their proceeds of the daily sales to LLS, uh, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Um, we're, we've advertised it to all the the, the baseball and softball team in parties. They're going to come there, all our family and friends. Everybody come out um, and come support a great cause um, to find a cure for blood cancer. All Look right, forward to see everybody there. Excellent. And we're going to have information on both of your events on our website. We're going to put this interview up on our website as well so people can go and learn more about it, get the details, and make their plans to go out and support a great cause. Inez, Adam, I want to thank you guys for being here so much. Uh, this is a very special um, thing for me too because because yes. I am involved in Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's team and yes. training program, training for Ironman Kona, uh, raising money for the same cause. So it's near and dear to my heart, and thank you so much for all the work that you do. I thank really you. I appreciate it. Thank appreciate you. It. All right. Thank you very much.